Thanks for joining us on this week's episode of Arkansas Wildlife. One of the fastest growing segments of the fishing industry is kayak fishing. And this week, we're gonna take a look at what all you need to do to get set up for kayak fishing, and also examine the budding kayak tournament bass fishing scene. And a little later in the show, we're gonna chase some fish out of our own kayaks over on Lake Washita. We're setting up camp, Lake Washita Island style. All that in this week's winner of a hunting and fishing license right after this break. Arkansas Wildlife is brought to you in part by Academy Sports and Outdoors. For all, for less. Just before dawn at Lake Atkins, and these bass tournament anglers are getting ready to hit the water. All right, guys, um, just like always, number one priority is safety. Everybody have a life jacket. Tournament director Garrett Van Wee goes over the rules with the group of about 30 anglers who have braved cool, windy conditions to compete on this Saturday morning in April. If you guys don't have any questions, uh, hit me up now. If not, see you guys back here at three but you won't hear the roar of outboards cranking up at this takeoff, because these guys are hitting the water in kayaks. Fishing from a kayak is nothing new, the popularity of the sport has exploded over the past few years. According to the Recreational Boating and Fishing Foundation, the percentage of anglers taking kayak fishing trips has more than doubled, from 2.3% in 2010 to 5% in 2016. While 5% may not sound like a big number, that accounted for more than 44 million fishing trips in 2016 alone. Kayak fishing is, is blowing up. James Whited is a competitive kayak fisherman and also owns Conway's H24 Outdoors, which specializes in kayaks and kayak fishing accessories. It's one of a number of outfitters across the state catering to this new breed of fishermen. Whited started the business a little over a year ago and business has been booming. It's been crazy. We didn't, we didn't anticipate, I mean, we, we exceeded our first year expectations. We started with the idea of having affordable kayaks, um, not necessarily the top of the top end. Um, we wanted kind of more bang for the buck. That's kind of what we shot for when we started. Um, I think we've achieved that. Affordability is one of the main reasons for kayak fishing's rising popularity. While you can expect to spend anywhere from $10,000 for a used bass boat to more than $100,000 for a high-end model, purchasing a kayak is much easier on the wallet. Well, first off, you're going to need a boat. Um, we've got really good fishing kayaks starting at around $649. Our best-selling boat is a Sea Ghost 110 at 829. That comes with paddle rudder. It's ready to go. And then you need a PFD. We have PFDs that start at, you know, 50 bucks and go up from there. Obviously, your rods and reels. That's that's venturing into a, a uh, an interesting thing. But we do carry Manly rods, which is a rod specifically designed for kayak fishing. And then we, we stock baits that you, know, you won't find everywhere else. Um, or at least that's what we strive for. Another major attraction of the kayak is the ability to customize the boat. Unlike a bass boat where everything's kind of set up where it, where it is, you can set a kayak up any way you want it. So it, it really becomes an extension of the, of the angler. I mean, guys sticker them up, they put stickers all over them, so they put rod holders and trolling motors. And, you know, we saw the evolution of the pedal drive coming in, so now pedal drives have, have entered the market, but now we're starting to see more people asking about trolling motor mounts. For lack of a better term, there's lots of customization. I mean, even from how you store your tackle on your kayak, because you, you have to be a minimalist almost when you're in a kayak. But in a bass boat where you'll have six or seven bags of, but, you know, of baits, Kevin Van Dam recently said he's got 30 rods in his boat at one point in time. You can't have that on a kayak. That being said, there's guys that come up with some really innovative and creative ways to stow stuff on. There's just, just a hundred ways to outfit a kayak. 
The rise in popularity can be seen on social media, where a simple search shows a multitude of tournament organizations throughout Arkansas. The Kayak Bass Anglers of Central Arkansas, which sponsored the tournament on Lake Atkins, has almost a thousand members on its Facebook page. It's one of four groups that compete on the Razor Yak Tournament Trail. Each group stages a series of tournaments around the state, with the top anglers from each circuit advancing to the Razor Yak State Championship in the fall. Unlike the professional bass tours, you won't see any big productions with anglers showing off their fish at the afternoon weigh-in. Kayak tournament success is based on the length of the fish caught, with the aggregate length of the angler's total catch determining the standings. Landing the fish is just half the battle. Kayak tournament anglers are required to place the fish on a standardized measuring device and then photograph their catch with a daily identifier visible in the snapshot. Fish are then quickly released, which makes this measuring system easier on the bass. One of the things that's nice about kayak fishing is the fish doesn't get handled that much. So it preserves the fishery, we're putting the fish right back in the, back in the lakes. Garrett Morgan has been competing in kayak tournaments for a little more than a year and says the camaraderie of the kayak fishing community is a major draw. The thing that's most attractive about doing the kayaks is you know, everybody's pretty nice, pretty cordial. Not that you know, guys on you know, the other segment aren't, um, it's just we're more open to sharing information because we're about trying to help um, anglers that are, you know, trying to learn the sport. Jim just gave me a bug, buddy. And I think that's what you get with a little bit smaller community um, when you go uh, into the kayak circuit. Morgan says fishing the tournaments allows him to satisfy his competitive nature while also taking care of things on the home front. I think being a dad, I have two kids, um, I like to tournament fish. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to break the bank at home uh, going out and, you know, most of our tournaments are around 25 to 30 bucks. Um, you know, I'm not buying tons of gas for a boat. I don't have a huge boat payment, not paying insurance on a boat. Um, you know, I can still be competitive um, and still be sure I'm taking care of things at home. Another attraction is the ability to get to places in the kayak that he may not have been able to reach in a bigger boat. The draw for me, uh, and I would say for other people, is accessibility. You want to drive this to work, and as soon as you get off work, go fish. Uh, I do that quite a bit, so there's nothing to it to drive up to the boat ramp, throw it out, um, throw a couple poles on there and paddle out and start fishing. I get access to a lot of spots, um, not only fishing but duck hunting as well using my kayak. You know, there's lots of creeks and things that you can get in that, um, you know, a little bit um, harder for bigger boats to get in. And you can't forget the main attraction, the thrill of hooking into a big fish that takes you for a ride. There's something to be said for the ride that you go on when you hook into a you know six, seven, eight pounder in one of these here, and they're, and they're kind of pulling you out to the uh, sea, as I call it, out to the middle of the lake, and uh, you're trying to you know get your net out, wrestle it back to the boat, and um, you know there's an adrenaline rush there that you just don't get out of a larger boat. Whether it's affordability, accessibility, simplicity, or just the thrill of a tug on the line, the allure of kayak fishing is sure to keep reeling in new anglers. Arkansas Wildlife is brought to you in part by Zimmerman Sports Center on South University in Little Rock. It's a perfect spot, man. We found a great island that suited our needs perfectly in our quest for, uh, for fish on, on Lake Washita. Uh, built a great little campfire, uh, had a perfect spot for some hammock camping and tent camping. Island camping on Lake Washita is just a blast. You get to really get away from everybody. You know, you have the place to yourself. Uh, I really like it at night, man. You look up and there's just, you know, thousands and thousands of stars and uh, just a great experience and truly a remote location here in Arkansas that you can uh, get away from the crowds. Lake Washita is a uh, Corps of Engineers lake uh, and the Corps allows camping on the islands. It's got about 200 islands depending on water level, give or take, so you can choose one that fits you. If you want to go out and have a fishing trip, you can do that. You can locate an island that's going to be good for that with a lot of cove, a lot of points. You can pick one that's large if you have a, you know, a few other people that are going to camp with you. Pick one that's tiny. 
Uh, you can pick one for solitude. But during the day, we had uh, Mike Wintroth, our Game of Fish photographer, and Jim Harris, one of our writers and editors, who's also uh, the guy who puts together our Game and Fish weekly fishing report. And I knew, 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 I knew. she could make me happy. Happy. I love the flower girl. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I think we need a new island. We're gonna need a bigger island. We didn't waste any time. We quickly got our gear unloaded, and as soon as we got our camp set up, we jumped in the boats and commenced to fish. What's really nice about kayak fishing on a place like Lake Washita is you have so many possibilities. It, there's coves everywhere, there are points coming off of those, those islands. You can get back in places that you may not even see if you're fishing from a, uh, from a bass boat. You might just you know, drive right by it and not even notice it. But uh, fishing from a kayak, of course you're not going to cover the territory you do in a, in a boat that's powered, but you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to notice things you wouldn't otherwise notice and uh, you're gonna catch some fish. I'll be the first to admit that I am not the most experienced kayak fisherman. I've done some kayak fishing on some of our Ozark and Washita streams, but this is actually my first experience on flat water and first experience on Lake Washita fishing out of a kayak. Jeff mentioned many of the benefits of kayak fishing. Uh, for a new guy like me, I learned, however, there are some uh, maybe disadvantages if you're not as experienced at it. Uh, you've got to kind of take your time. Uh, you can't see as well, like if you're standing on the platform or, or the casting deck of a, of a boat. Uh, you got to be careful with your back cast, especially if there are a couple of rods directly behind you that you forgot about. All in all though, I love fishing out of the kayak. It just took me a little getting used to. You know, the thing I probably like most about it is it's, uh, you're, you're right down close to the water. So it's a little bit more of an intimate fishing experience than say fishing out of a bass boat or, or a big bay boat, something like that. <laughs> That's a keeper. That's largemouth number two here on beautiful Lake Washita. Out of the kayak. I'm not the greatest kayak fisherman, but I'm learning. camp set up. We've been doing some fishing out of the kayaks. Caught a few large mounts, so it's been a good day so far. Getting a little later in the evening. About time to go try the striped bass.
I've had a goal for several years of uh, catching some stripers from a, uh, from a kayak. Hasn't gone so well so far. Uh, I've had a few that have, that have chased, my, uh, chased my bait, but I haven't caught one yet. Uh, I'm going to try some more, though. It, it, it's fun just trying, I mean, because it's, it's such a beautiful lake, and, and uh, the pursuit is obviously part of it. We were really hoping Jeff in particular would hook up with a striper in that kayak so I could watch him get pulled around the lake. Unfortunately, the stripers didn't cooperate, so we'll just have to save that for another time. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be bringing you that before too long. Of course, when dinner time rolled around, uh, Trey forgot to bring a, uh, a full canister of propane, so uh, that's right. I brought along an empty propane tank. You know, we did like they did on Gilligan's Island, and we improvised and made do with what we had. And honestly, I think it was a much more authentic camping experience because we did that. The catfish turned out great despite the lack of a propane tank. Uh, we even had a little twist on it. Scotty uh, put together some, some stuff to make fish tacos. And man, we ate a little bit later than we had anticipated, but let me tell you, it was worth the wait. The thing I probably like the most about the island camping is it's sort of like a base camp for your, your fishing expedition. We were able to paddle all around these islands, fish the, the coves and the points. You paddle around or, or motor around, whatever, and then, you know, if you want to take a break, run back to the island, lie in the hammock for a little while, hey, get up and do some casting from the shore of the island. Uh, it's just, I mean, really the possibilities are endless. Lake Washita, some largemouth bass on the end of the line, island camping, kayak fishing, springtime. Man, I can't think of a better way to spend a couple of days outdoors in the natural state. Arkansas Wildlife presents the Watch and Win Giveaway. During each episode of Arkansas Wildlife, we'll give away an Arkansas resident hunting and fishing license. At the end of this season, we'll be giving away $500 worth of fishing gear with everything you need for outdoor adventures on Arkansas lakes and streams. It's all provided by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Visit the Arkansas Wildlife webpage at ArkansasWildlife.com and click on the Watch and Win icon to enter. This week's winner is Joe DeAngelis from Bella Vista. Congratulations and thanks for watching.